Welcome back to the magical world of the mouse and the teapot. The little teapot is actually shaped in a mouse. Just doing the last finishing touches up with just the details so that I'm getting to enhance the painting. Doing the highlights where the highlights are. And um, delving a little bit deeper into the painting, making sure that the colors and the gradients are proper color matching, making sure everything's good. Making sure that intricate details and things like that that make the painting a little bit more special. The vibrancy of the pot next to the darker pot and then the vibrancy of the flowers creating them the magic of this painting. So now I'm just going back in with some grayscale. Okay, a little more detail. In part one, I took a long time. Um, when you fully get going in some of the bigger paintings and stuff, you start to find. You know, details, things like that make a big difference. Actually, quite black back there. So, need a little more black paint.
It was really windy today. So if you don't want to miss out on some continuations, I'm going to be continuing to do my next taming will be, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the angel and the grapes or something. Um, stay tuned for valuable tips and techniques and things like that. I'm going to get better and better with doing that. And then, um, you know, getting, getting the information out to you guys the creativity of being able to do a painting with this type of detail and it's a lot of fun but it can be quite challenging at the same time which is a good thing It is, I can't believe it, it's already Saturday. Already having a weekend here. Now, I'm glad that you kind of joined me for the journey a little bit today. Just now, just doing little details. Making sure that this is dark enough. I was going to head out with my motorcycle to Sedona, but it just keeps getting too windy. a little dot. That was amazing. How much hair? It's going to be a pretty short video today. I just wanted to show you guys some of the finishing touches of where I was at. And uh, don't, if you want to continue doing some of the journey, thank you for joining me on this artistic adventure. And then don't forget to you know like and share if you want to um, share it to other artists and stuff to learn some new, more artful content and things like that. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Peace to you and love and all that good stuff. Have a fantastic rest of, I think that this is a holiday weekend, so not too many people would be out and about. There's a big hair right here. 
cursor. I'm always amazed on how much cat hair I get from my two big Maine Coons. But anyway, again, thank you again. I really do appreciate you guys coming out and taking a look at some of the stuff that I've been creating and, and all of that. I really do enjoy um, doing the work, artwork and stuff. So being in the art world, I was in the coaching world. Maybe I can mix the two of them together somehow. All right. Have a fantastic rest of your weekend. Bye.